It's been three weeks and now it's time to do a quick acrylic fill in this video coming up. Hello, I'm Anastasia and today we will be doing a quick acrylic fill. First things first, we need to file off the top coat, the shiny part, and also if we have some lifting on the product, and we do on this nail on the left side, we need to file it off. Never leave a lifting right there or encapsulate it with the new product, because what can happen, you can trap the moisture inside and then over time you might see a green nail. Next step, filing the product underneath and shortening the outgrown natural nail. I did extensions previously and sometimes when you fit the form depending on the natural curve of the client, you might see some excess product there, so it's better to fix it. Now I am taking off the shine on the next nail. Here our goal is just to do a quick infill, we are not going to change the shape or the design. All we need to do is to add the product on the outgrown part of the nail and fix lifting if we have some. If you notice that there are no problems, no lifting, you still need to file off the gel top coat completely as it's shiny and in order to apply a new product we need to have a matte surface. You can do it with nail drill or with a hand file, it doesn't matter. It's easier to fix lifting to file it off with e-file as well. Um, but if it's very small, if there is like a tiny line like we have here on the side, you can also use a hand file. Now we need to take care of the cuticles. Push it back, I'm using orange wood stick, and then I will use a flame bead. This is diamond bead with red abrasive, it's medium fine, and I'm pushing back the cuticle on the left side. The speed I'm working with now is about 16,000 rotations per minute. First I was working on the left side with forward mode, and now I switch to the reverse. On the right side you can see the white line on the nail plate, and this is the mark of the previous e-file manicure, and this part was not done correctly, it was overfiled. By the way, I have a video on my channel that shows how to fix these problems, but for now do not file it again as we do not want to damage it. Then I apply dehydrator and non-acid primer only on the natural nail, it will not make sense to apply it on the product. If you did it by mistake, do not worry, it will not cause any problems. Now we are going to apply new acrylic and first I apply it to the areas where we had lifting as I want to fix it. I add the bead and then I stretch it into all directions, like now. First I add it and then I stretch. I stretch it downwards, I stretch it to the side, I stretch it upwards a little bit as I want to add it so you cannot really see that some product was added. And only after that I go to the cuticle area, so I always fix all the imperfections in the surface first. And now there's been only three weeks and I cannot say that the nails outgrown too much, so we do not need to restructure the nail a lot, but we do need to create a new apex, that's why I'm encapsulating it with clear acrylic, adding it in the middle. By the way, here I am using exclusive nail couture acrylic system, I also have a video of these nails when I first did extensions and my review of this product. As you can see, it was pretty good and the lifting that we had on the sides of the nails, it was mostly because the nails of these clients are damaged, it has nothing to do with the product itself. So overall, now I can say that I am happy with the quality of this product. The only thing I didn't enjoy much is the sweet smell of the monomer. I'm really so used to traditional monomer smell and enjoy it a lot, so smelling something sweet was a bit weird for me, but all the rest is really good. Now I'm filing the surface, sometimes I use hand file, sometimes I use e-file, but for shaping it is definitely only hand file, and we're not changing the shape, it's still almond, but as the nails grow, as our client click on the keyboard, it might change the shape sometimes, so do not forget to check. Also, the nails on the dominant hand, sometimes they grow faster, so you also want to measure the length and make sure that they all match. After that, clean the dust and seal with the top coat. 
So overall this quick fill took us about one hour and that's because there was only one lifting on one nail and a little bit on the other and that is it. For clients who do not have any lifting at all, it can take me around 40 minutes total. So that's it, it was a quick fill as I promised. Let me guys know how long does it take you to do a quick fill like that. Thank you so much for watching. If you're first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new tutorials just like this one every week. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.